Pisces. What's up? Welcome to your singles reading for January 15th through the 31st. Thank you guys so much for being here. I greatly appreciate all of you. All right. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, January 15th through the 31st. I think I just said that. Sorry about it. So what I do in these singles readings, guys, I pull the energy of the next person that you're going to be dealing with in your love life. It doesn't necessarily have to be your next relationship, just the next person that you um, deal with in that aspect. Um, I also pull your energy with all the different signs and I answer a yes or no question for you at the end. So throughout the reading, try to think of a question that you have for me so I can answer that for you when we get to the end. It'll be the very last thing that I do. As always, this isn't going to resonate for every single Pisces out there. It's not possible. You're not all living the same lives. So if it doesn't resonate, check your other signs, specifically your moon and Venus, as this is a love reading. All right, guys, make sure you check out your other readings on the channel as well. There's an entire month of January love, entire month of January singles, entire month of January general, and there are weeklies. So check those out as well. And if you haven't yet subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Oh, look at that first card out, the Two of Cups, Pisces, beautiful, the High Priestess. Oh, what is this, Pisces? Why do I have a chill right now? Three of Wands, Knight of Swords, the Empress, and the Ten of Wands. Hmm, why, what is wrong with me? Like, I have chills right now. Maybe I'm just fucking cold. <laughs> I don't know. All right, Pisces. So your person is coming in in the two of cups. Beautiful. So this is a soulmate connection for you. Now, when I say that, don't go too fucking crazy like some people do. We have a ton of soulmates. Um, what you do with it's on you doesn't necessarily mean it's your forever person, but it is a soulmate connection. Um, whatever you want to do with it, that's all about you. Anyway, you guys, you guys make a good pair right you guys mirror each other you have the same kind of energy you're both bringing the same thing it's it's real emotion right get another one on that two of cups the page of swords if you don't already know this person they are likely already on your social media if you have it or asking around about you um and this is that new communication coming in The nine of coins. So this person, um, it, they're going to come across really independent. Like they have their shit together on their own. Um, and what's funny about that is the nine of pentacles is the minor to the empress, which we have down here as well. So that just means they're single. They're independent. They're the kind of person that uh, they don't need to be in a relationship. They're not like needy. It's like they're they're cool being single, but that doesn't mean they don't want a relationship. It just means they're not they're not codependent or anything. Um, and they're also coming in as a three of wands, so they might be at like a bit of a distance from you. Doesn't have to be anything crazy, but they are looking towards the future. Like they are somebody who um, pays attention. Pay, oh my god, if I could fucking talk, pays attention to what they want their future to look like when it comes to their love life. They're not just kind of like, whatever, whatever, I don't give a shit what happens. Like they care, they care about their future. All right, let's get one on now. The Seven of Cups, they might have a lot of options too, um, but they look to be kind of a catch. You know, um, nine of coins, that, that's kind of, that person's a catch. So they could have a lot of options. Um, this is also somebody who fantasizes. Like they might be fantasizing about you. Or you might fantasize about them. Oh boy, the fucking tower. Shit, Pisces. Okay, so this person's going through a major, major change in their life. A major fucking change. Like, they just got fucking uprooted. The tower is Mars energy. So, Aries and Scorpio. Whew. All right, let's see what this is. Um, and it's real unexpected. The way that, like, you guys kind of either meet, 
hook up, whatever. It's real, real unexpected, out of the blue, um, strange circumstances. What's this tower for this person? What is this tower for this person? Five of Swords reversed. It's some kind of loss. Let's get another one. The Three of Pentacles reversed. They could be like going through a job loss or something and now they're like uprooted. Strength reversed, Leo. Um, so they're in a place where they're feeling like real weak, um, confused. Their confidence might be kind of shit right now. Their self-worth is kind of fucked up. Um, so I think with them being in that nine of pentacles, they're probably just really focused on their money right now because... Did you hear that? It sounded like my candle just like bubbled or something um anyway so they do have like some kind of confusion here um they're trying to figure out what is next for them in their future because they did just something happen with them some kind of loss um could be drama at their job or something but something really like took them out of their power put them in this place where they don't feel like they're very strong currently um, will the attraction be instant? Well, you have the high priestess. So it's not that the attraction is going to be instant. It's that there's going to feel like there's some kind of a spiritual connection. Like it's going to feel like there's something there. You're going to notice it like intuitively or they are. Um, there might be like some telepathy. There might be like shared dreams, signs, synchronicities, weird shit when it comes to you two. Get another one on that. Yeah, two of wands. Um, so it's about like going down, like they're part of your spiritual path actually. Um, so this connection, if you choose to deal with it or not, it's kind of going to take you down a different, a different path in your life, like a different like spiritual path. This is like deep Pisces. It fucking is man. Um, all right. Anyway, your potential obstacle here for them is the Knight of Swords. So communication might be an issue for you two. You guys might need to really just like have a talk. Make sure that you're always speaking your truth, always being honest. Don't hold back. Okay. Um, what can you do to help it? Well, we have the Empress here. So that's about being... Um, like... It's about self-care. It's about taking care of yourself, taking care of each other, being warm, being loving, um, being, you know, everything that like a mother would be. So if there's a problem with communication with you two, you just have to kind of be like nurturing with each other, if that makes sense. Be nurturing and caring when it comes to each other and the conversations that you have, okay? Um, what, when, where, how will you meet? Well, you've got the Ten of Wands. So within the next 10 weeks, if you don't know them already, but like I said in the beginning, if you don't know them, like, or you don't know that you know them, they know you. They know who you are, at least. Likely somebody that's already on your social media. But um, there's something here that is really draining one of you something that is just like suck the life right out of one of you likely them because they have this tower so whenever that kind of like subsides um i think is when this will like jump off yeah the six of wands that's that's getting a lot of attention um it's victory it's winning something it's it's winning like this really long draining fucking battle and this is also so social media or online dating. So like, again, you might not know them or know that you know them, but they are around already. Okay, let's get your energy with the different signs, Pisces. 
Pisces dealing with Aries. Pisces and Aries. What is up for you and Aries? Pisces and Aries. Justice. That is an equal, fair, balanced connection. Um, can be karmic, but not in a bad way. Um, that could result in marriage eventually if you want it to. Pisces dealing with Taurus. Pisces and Taurus. Ooh, look at that shit. Jumped right out at me. The sun. If you're dealing with a Taurus, the potential for ultimate happiness is there. That's the happiest card in the deck, guys. Pisces dealing with Gemini. Pisces and Gemini. Oh, shit. Look at these three majors in a row. Damn. All right, Pisces. If you're dealing with a Gemini, that's done. Done, done. Over. Pisces and Cancer. Pisces and Cancer, Four of Swords. If you're dealing with a Cancer, they have something that they need to heal from. They are in some kind of a recovery or should be. And I don't think that they are capable of anything relationship-wise currently. Pisces dealing with Leo. Pisces and Leo, Queen of Cups. There is actual emotion there or the potential for it. Um, they are emotionally available. Emotionally grounded, mature, loving, compassionate, all that good shit. Pisces dealing with Virgo. Pisces and Virgo. And the Nine of Wands. Somebody's ready to give up on that connection. It's just too, too fucking much. Like, not giving up yet, but at the end of the rope. Pisces dealing with Libra. And that is too many cards. Pisces and Libra. Pisces and Libra. Oh my gosh, why am I dropping my whole deck? Ooh, Pisces and Libra. Pisces and Libra. Three of Wands. If you're dealing with a Libra, they could be at a distance from you a little bit. Um, but they they could potentially see a future with you. Um, there could potentially be a future there. Pisces dealing with Scorpio. Pisces and Scorpio. Oh, Ten of Pentacles. The potential for long-term commitment is there with that one. Um, long-term commitment, stability. Pisces dealing with Sagittarius. Six of Cups. You could have a Sagittarius that is from your past. Um, if you have a Sagittarius X, they are likely still missing you and might resurface. This could also just be a Sagittarius that you've known for a long time, um, and there could be the potential for something there with them, or you guys could have a past life connection. Pisces dealing with Capricorn. Pisces and Capricorn. Ooh, two of cups, which you have up here, so maybe this one's for a Capricorn. If you are dealing with a Capricorn, it is a soulmate connection. Again, what you do with it is on you, but they are definitely a good match for you. Pisces dealing with Aquarius. Pisces and Aquarius, the Seven of Wands. They are very guarded. They really got their walls up. Pisces dealing with Pisces. Pisces and Pisces. What's up for those of you dealing with another one of you? The Eight of Wands, lots of sex, lots of hookup, um, lots of communication, lots happening real fast. That's Cupid's arrows, guys. All right, you ready for your yes or no? Take a deep breath, Pisces. Focus on your question. Ready? Okay, here we go. Yes or no for my Pisces friends? Yes or no, Pisces? Yes or no? Ooh, that's a yes with the chariot. That's a big yes, guys. I hope you wanted it to be. Thank you so much for hanging out with me tonight. You guys take care.